Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. This is a question I get a lot, actually, and it's always been in the description below of every video I have made, but this is how to use a third-party skin and what skin I use in Ableton Live. So we're gonna be installing a skin and we're going to be selecting it within the program. Let's hop into the studio and get started. Awesome guys, so now we are in Ableton Live here, and as you can see, it's in this dark theme. This is called the LT skin. It's in the description of every one of my videos, the link to the uh, producer of the skin. He's the same guy who did the Serum UI, uh, X for Record Serum, and a lot of the uh, bigger names who use Serum use the skin as it follows suit with the theme of Serum. Uh, to download the skin and to install it, and to install any third-party skin for that matter, we're going to download the skin and then drag it into the directory it needs to be. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our browser here. The link to this skin is going to be in the description below as it is in every video of mine. And we're going to click on the download button here. And this is going to start the Ableton Live 9 skin download. We're going to do actually is just minimize everything here. We're going to go to the desktop. We're going to drag this in and we're actually close the browser now. What we can do is we can extract the skin. We're going to just extract to this folder here. And then we're going to see this file called ASK. Now every Ableton skin that you find is going to be an ASK file, um, regardless of the skin or the origin of the skin. So what we're all we're going to do is we're going to go to C. We're going to go to program data. In order to visualize this, you're going to hit view, hidden items, and then we can actually see that that, that folder is now visual um, or visible, excuse me. And now we can open the program data folder. We can scroll down. We can find Ableton. I'm going to open that up. We're going to go to Live 9 Suit or Suite Resources. We're going to go to Skins, and then we can go ahead and paste it in and then um, it'll be ready to go. So now to select that skin we just installed, we're gonna go to the Ableton Live window here. We're gonna go to Options, Preferences, Look and Feel, which is this top tab here. And then we can actually just select the skin right here. So you can do this for any skin, not just the LT skin. This is just the skin I use. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, and let me know why in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.